Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back. So today I thought it would be cool to do some product empties. Now I haven't done one of these in a really long time because I don't really go through a whole lot of products seeing as to how I'm more of a makeup collector than a product goer througher, if that makes any sense. I don't really use enough of each product to get through it but I actually found a few products in the last couple months that I really fell in love with and I actually managed to get through them. So I have them all sitting here in front of me and I just figured I would tell you guys which ones that I loved, which ones that I either didn't love or won't be repurchasing and stuff like that. So the first product that I want to talk about is my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. This thing is like pretty much gone. There's like nothing left in there. This is definitely one that I think I am going to be repurchasing. I absolutely loved this product. I don't know if I'll get the Rose Water one next time or if I'll try a different one just because I like trying out new things but I definitely loved this thing. I used it to set my makeup, I used it to prime my face for my makeup and I even used it sometimes to dampen my beauty sponges and I absolutely loved it. Then up next I've got my foundation. This is like, I actually have two foundations that I ran out of. Um, this one is the Unique Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation. I just ordered a backup of this one. It should be here in a couple of days and I'm so excited I need it back in my life. Um, I have this on my face right now but in order to get anything out I have to like pour like beat it on the back of my hand to get any product out of this thing. This stuff worked so well. I've had it since October, used it pretty much every single day and just now ran out of it. So it lasted me about four months and I have used the heck out of it. The next foundation that I ran out of was actually my Maybelline, I almost said L'Oreal, it's not L'Oreal, it's Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. Um, this stuff kind of reminds me of my unique foundation in the sense that it's kind of got a little bit of the same consistency. This is a little bit more runny than the unique one but the coverage is about the same i just prefer my unique one because as you guys know i do sell unique and i'm personally not somebody who's going to promote products that i don't use myself and i absolutely love the unique one but if you're looking for a drugstore brand if you're more of a drugstore girl this is definitely very comparable to it um, I actually have two setting sprays as well this one is by Catrice Cosmetics um, I actually just found out about this about I guess two months ago maybe and I ordered it straight away from Ulta I went through it like crazy it works really well it really does seem like it makes my makeup stay on like I get a little bit oily throughout the day but it's nothing that a little bit of powder couldn't fix and it's not really enough for me to worry about anyways so I just kind of leave my face alone. Once I do my makeup in the morning time I'm done like that's it for the whole day. I don't really touch anything up like I might put on some chapstick or something throughout the day but that's pretty much it like the face is just done for the day. So I have to say this stuff does seem like it did a pretty good job. I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase it just because like I said. I do sell Unique and I'm going to be trying out that one because I've not tried it out yet and I want to know how well that it works compared to other ones that I've tried. So I'll probably try that one next. And then this one is actually just a little sample guide. This is the Ulta Beauty Dewy Makeup Setting Spray. This one is going to be more geared towards people with dry skin or people who like a dewier finish on their face. It's more youthful I guess. Um, I don't really know that it had that much of a difference between matte and dewy. I've not tried enough um, sprays to know much of a difference between them. I will say that it did really good up until like there was probably this much left in the bottle. Once it got to about right here instead of it spraying like a mist it really started just like spraying blobs onto my face so I don't know if it's just the like because it's a sample size or what but I was not a fan of that and then the last product that I have for you guys is actually my unique dip and draw eyeliner um, I already ordered my replacement it is here I used it today this stuff is no joke it works so well it has a really nice thin felt tip on it this stuff is pretty much gone every once in a while if I shake it up really good I can still get a little bit of something on it but for the most part this product is gone so I went ahead and opened up my new one today and I love it it's what I'm wearing right now 
and it lasts all night long. It doesn't flake off. But that's all, guys. That's all I have for this one. So thank you all so much for watching. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but this hoodie right here is apparently my life. This is like my hoodie that I wear all the time. My mom and dad actually got me this hoodie and I absolutely love it. So if you guys notice that I wear it a lot, I really do. Like this is real life. I wear this hoodie all the time. I pretty much always wear shirts underneath my hoodies so I can, you know, just keep putting them on like a coat. And yeah, <laughs> I just want to let you guys know if you're looking for an awesome hoodie that is really comfortable, check out Family Dollar because they have plus size clothes. They're not expensive. I think this hoodie was around 12 bucks, so that's a really, really good deal. And it ha it's awesome quality too. Like it has lasted and lasted. So since this was an empties, I kind of turned it into a little bit of a favorites too, because this is my favorite hoodie of life right now. But um, I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure if you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave, and always be you. Bye guys.